This is a demonstration of the image formed by a concave mirror. This is a concave mirror, so it's hollow on the inside. And I have this red and blue ball that I'm going to take an image of. The nice thing about this ball is it have a, has a top side and a bottom side, and we'll be able to see when the image is upright and when it's inverted. When the ball, which is the object, is close to the mirror, the image formed in the mirror is upright. So you'll see a ball in the mirror with the red side up, the same as the ball is in reality. As I move farther and farther from the mirror, the image should be getting bigger, but still upright. Until we reach the focal point where right at that point the image gets enormous. And then beyond that point, if we start moving beyond that point, you'll see that the image is inverted and quite large. Then as we continue to move further and further away from the mirror, farther from the focal point, which is right here, the image gets smaller and smaller, but it continues to be inverted till we get out to here. So the focal point is here, uh, roughly where the ball is right now. And uh, parallel rays from infinity that come in and hit the mirror are going to uh, converge on this very spot. There's also another spot that's important for mirrors, and that's twice the distance um, of the focal point. So we're going to double the distance here, and that's the center of curvature of the mirror. And the way that works is that rays leaving that center of curvature and hitting the mirror bounce perpendicularly off of the mirror and come right back to that same spot. And so uh, we can see all this in motion by just setting, setting this pendulum in motion. Let me try that one more time. 